Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Amira and today I will show you how to sew a beautiful half belt on leather. I love how this belt turned out and I'm just excited imagining the endless possibilities of using this kind of belt. I'm going to be using a frame buckle as an example today. And before getting into the video, a reminder that Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine is still going on which is absolutely surreal. I will leave some links in the description box to organizations and volunteers I trust and donate to regularly myself. So to make our belt piece and buckle holder piece, we will need three leather pieces. One piece for the upper part of the belt itself. Its size depends on your desired belt's length and width. The second piece is going to be on the other side of the belt like a facing and it has the bottom cut to reduce the bulk when attaching the belt. You will just have to make sure that the finishing top stitch goes through some of the facing. You will see that more clearly further in the video. And the third piece, which in my case looks almost like the second one, is going to be the buckle holder. The size will be determined by your buckle and your preference, but it should have space for the final top stitching. My belt will have rounded shape and half moon top stitching, but yours can be different depending on the style you choose. And all these pieces will need allowance, about 1cm from the sides and a bit less on the top. Now to the tedious but very important step, ironing. Make a template of the belt out of paper to help with ironing the allowance to the inside. You have to put a lot of force into the iron to make sure the edges stay folded. I start with the sides, then iron the first top half and then the second. Make sure to take your time with this step so that you don't struggle with the bulkiness and unfolding edges later. Here are my ironed pieces. I think next time I will try to make the template out of a thicker material because I folded it unintentionally while ironing resulting in not very symmetrical edges, but overall they look good. Put the belt pieces wrong side to the wrong side and top stitch them. Start and finish where your final top stitch is going to lie, in my case the half moon top stitching. I didn't secure this top stitching and going to do it later. Um, it doesn't look really nice to be honest. It, this bitch kind of ugly. Next, I decide where I want my grommets to be. I will be using a grommet press. You can also use grommet pliers or just an awl to make simple holes. I'm not sure what I was thinking about making this video. My mind was somewhere else. I put my first grommet on the wrong side and honestly, Ain't nobody got time to redo that, so let it be. Also, I didn't have a hole puncher, but if you have it, make a hole before inserting the grommets. They will look much nicer. Now take the project that you are working on and decide where you want to put the belt. I was able to fixate the belt with some clips and then make the final top stitching on the belt, securing the previous top stitching. We also need to make a leather loop for the belt to go in. You need to make sure that the loop is big enough for the belt to freely pass through it, but at the same time not be too loose. This is how I make the loop. Decide on the length, make it bigger than needed to have enough leather to close the loop. You will be able to cut the excess if needed. And in width, you should be able to fold it two times and get the desired width. Now stitch two parallel lines. Now a very important step. Connecting the loop can be frustrating, 
but here is how to make it easier. Bend the top half of the loop towards you and put the loop under the needle. Then bring the needle down to fixate the two layers of the loop. Bring the foot down and sew a stitch across the loop multiple times. I use the hand wheel at times. Now top stitch the buckle holder. Then mark where you want the prong of the buckle to go through and make a hole with an awl. Insert the buckle and insert the loop in the upper part only and top stitch the whole piece to its designated place on the garment. And now the half belt is ready. I love how it looks. I also wanted to show you another belt that I've done. It has some problems with it, but I want to share it with you so that you avoid such mistakes. First of all, it's too wide for the buckle, so you need to check that beforehand. And second thing is that the buckle holder piece was not long enough, resulting in the buckle and the loop interfering with each other. And that's it for today. Hope you found this video useful. If you tried to sew this belt, how did you like it? Please let me know in the comments. And for now, take care and bye bye.